Lee's creations could perform amazing feats, yet still feel the pangs of teenage loneliness, or bicker like a real family, or be the targets of public hatred simply for who they were. Today's flood of tributes speak to all of that. Seth Rogen tweeted, Thank you, Stan Lee, for making people who feel different realize they are special. Today, an ambulance was called to his Hollywood home, and he died in hospital. His daughter, JC, told Reuters he loved his life and he loved what he did for a living. The CBC's Salima Shivji shows us just how true that was. Greetings, true believers. I'm Stan Lee. He was the king of comics, the charismatic man behind the Marvel Universe. Stan Lee, always the showman and a fan favorite. Terrific. Thank you. Nice meeting you. So long. The face of Marvel for so many decades. Stan Lee grew up in New York City during the Depression. With his dad out of work, Lee started his career as a teenager, not yet 17 when he got a gopher job at Timely Comics, which would later morph into Marvel Comics. When I was at Marvel, our whole place was about this big. <laughs> Where to start with the hundreds of characters he helped to create? The Fantastic Four, The Incredible Hulk, The X-Men, and Spider-Man. Comic book heroes turned pop culture icons. You know, I guess one person can make a difference. All superheroes with real human flaws. We've tried to humanize them. We've tried to say, suppose somebody could have superhero powers, how would he react in the real world? And I think we're all looking for somebody or something that's better than we are, that we can emulate and admire and Certainly. hopefully attain to someday. His work challenged people not to fear what's different and helped change perceptions in 1960s America. You just feel like you gotta live up to the legacy of Stan Lee. For comic writers like Jim Zub, it was always Lee's exuberant personality and his comforting presence peering out from the page that made his work special. It was like your pal talking to you. You would read these books and you would feel like you were being invited into the Marvel Universe. You were part of the club. Today we honor Stan Lee. As Lee became the only face of the Marvel world, there was con controversy over whether he deserved all the credit. Still, he was revered, with fans searching for his cameo appearance each time his superheroes ruled the box office, and calling for his signature motto. Excelsior! Oh. To him, meaning onward and upward, the words of a man who changed comics and movies forever. Salima Shivji, CBC News, Toronto. Now, it is easy to find places where Stan Lee left his mark. And earlier today, I paid a visit to one such place. It's called Paradise Comics here in Toronto. And I met a few people there who see Lee as his own kind of hero. I see Stan Lee everywhere in the store. Yes, definitely. You know what? Uh, we, we got our Stan Lee plushies. We got our, uh, you know, Captain America. What was it about his work and, and his creations? That, that you think really struck a chord? I think everyone could relate. You've got guys like Matt Murdock, who's a lawyer, and he's always struggling with different things uh, as well in his own personal life. Uh, You've got people like uh, you know, The Thing from the Fantastic Four, who never really fits into the, to the real world, as with the Beast with the X-Men, because he's a bit of a freak. Uh, so you see people kind of, or these characters, uh, trying to just figure out how, how to become one and live a normal life to some extent as well, uh, you know, when they're not uh, saving the world. You could always felt like you could be Spider-Man. I think that's what it was from, you know, at least maybe not today. Uh, but when I was a kid, I definitely thought, yes, I could be, I could actually be Spider-Man, yeah. Or even just like Fantastic Four, just there was always a, you know, this family that came together and the family got to be superheroes together. That also was just something that resonated with me as a kid that said we could all kind of, we could all one day be superheroes. It hit me harder than I thought it would. One of our customers described it as a punch in the gut which is really kind of how it is with me. Now I feel kind of rudderless. You know, where is the comic industry going to go now? Uh, he's like one of the late, last great ones to pass. So this is an example of uh, one of the books that, uh, one of the thousands of books that we've gotten signed by Stan over the years. Because you've uh, met him. Yes, we've done a signing uh, at least once a year, every year since 2004. One of the good moments is, as I said, Stanley I think is his own superhero. Uh, we were doing a signing in San Diego with him and he wasn't feeling well so uh, we weren't supposed to talk with him because his uh, voice was off and then he summoned his uh, assistant to go get uh, some cough syrup or something and stops and he takes a sip and he just goes, I'm cured. So 
You know what? He's, he's, he's a living comic character himself. And one more thing. Stan Lee tweeted just yesterday to praise the real-life heroes of Veterans Day in the United States. Today, his account posted this final image, Excelsior.